and creative industry. Thank you very much. After. Thank you. Uh, actually, uh, it's interesting to hear the uh, when Josh and I spoke to Josh talk about the uh, the platform that the EVD talking about and the mission, the economic uh, mission of Jakarta. Because uh, just uh, a few months, Miss Minister of Trade make really big campaigns about what so called the uh, creative industry. Twenty years ago I was invited for the UNESCO, the first international uh, uh, conference launching about what so called the uh, actually it's very big name, cultural industry at the time. And then it's more and then the time they start launching this that try to raise the awareness that we are now in the time of the fourth wave of economics. The first actually when the Vereniki was in this company is about the uh, agriculture and then the second is about the revolution industry when the technology is founded in the 16 something and then the third war is wave is about the by the information technology. But now, people are more aware that it's the fourth wave. It is based on the creativity. Actually, more culture, more art creativity. So the, the basic industry of it is the umbrella is the tourism. But the detail of it is all about creativity on terms of movie industry, about music, uh, about fashions, architecture, culinary food, and sport. And British already second income is about this. America, of course, plus Las Vegas and Hollywood and everything. So, uh, Indonesia tried to make a campaign and strongly facilitate about if somebody want to develop, cooperate to boosting about that uh, cultural industry in Indonesia. And that uh, platform is very interesting to talk about this asthma. Because asthma is only compared with Bali in Indonesia. Or Bali is only compared, can be compared or competitive with asthma. But Bali is a very fortunate in the history that they were exposed in the first 1930 at the time. So there are a lot of investment and then now they are harvesting all the investment of the uh, what so called the cultural industry. So the Pak Bupati uh, talking about the obstacles. But at the same time, obstacle can be for creative industry also an opportunities. <coughs> because then on term of the cultural tourism, there is a certain that things that are very unique, that the ecotourism and all the adventure tourism can be developed as a characteristic, unique characteristic if you want to to promote the new industry, which is the cultural industry in asthma. I think it is very, very good momentum. So when you talk about uh, economic mission, please put the uh, creative economy, because at least you are going to be get a, a, a big support from the Indonesian government. And so in that context, why that's important this morning we talk about asthma. Because that is the opportunity for you, businessman, for you, the NGO, that is very important. Because asthma is just really something you will firstly form about it. It's something very virgin in the sense that everything is still as it is.
So that's, I think, is, uh, what is important. So that uh, the, maybe if the uh, economic missions, please put the economic creative, the creative economy be on that. Yeah. And also you will feel that all the minister of, I think you should meet the minister of trade. The, uh, her name is Marika Nesu. She is, uh, yeah, she, she is a very big, uh, what do you call it, ideas and very big platform and about boosting the economic uh, uh, credit. And I think the long history between the relation between Dutch and Indonesia, I think will be one of the benefit when we talk about creative economy, but all about creativity, about humans and human religion. So that's why an art institute or art education or art product is the backbone of the creative economy. So this gentleman, actually, he is, I know him, he is a dancer, very good dancer. And this gentleman first also creating the Museum of Asthma, supervised this by Pater Suwara. He is when he was young. So that's why he became now the uh, man of authority on the cultural side and how to be on the leader of the asthma. Because it's only based on the cultural understanding that he can develop the asthma. And I think you know that uh, maybe just uh, two days ago we, I went again to the Tropen Institute and all the best collection of the asthma is there. And in America, Michael Rockefeller, the son of the Kathy, the daughter, the grandson of the Kathy, he is the biggest collection of the asthma sculpture and houses in the new museum in LA <coughs> and also in the uh, Museum of Cultural History in New York. But, and also now in Dress, uh, Ursula, where is the place of Ursula? In German? What? Munchen Glafas, there is also one big museum of the asthma car. So and they actually agree the asthma only had that kind of permanent exhibitions in the Indonesia. Yeah, all over the world actually, but very important is on this. So that's why maybe when we talk about asthma, now we just not talk about the art and spiritual and obstacle, but we talk about the opportunities that you will be and the first who create what the cultural industry in Asma. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor.